If you were looking for an unboxing video on the HP OfficeJet Pro 8135E, you've come to the right place. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. Hey YouTube, what is going on? The Printer Guy here, and today I've got the HP OfficeJet Pro 8135E. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be unboxing this printer, I'm gonna be setting it up, and then I'm gonna give you a short review on this printer. Now, this is not the only video I'm gonna make on this printer, so please make sure to check out the links down in the description below. There's gonna be some video links to some other videos I'm gonna end up making. I'm gonna make a more in-depth ink installation video, I'm gonna do a print quality test with this printer. That means I'm gonna be printing off photos and kind of pushing its limits when it comes to printing and see what it can do. Then I'm gonna be doing a repair video just in case you need to repair this printer in the future. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that and there may be some extra videos along the way as well. There usually always is. But if this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Now the sponsor of today's video is my very own product, the best printers cleaning kit. Basically, if you're printing blank pages, not able to print a certain color, or you have an overall and general print quality issue, you're gonna wanna consider buying this product. There's gonna be a link down in the description below. This YouTube channel has tons of videos showing you how to use this cleaning kit on various different printer models. So if you currently have a printer laying around at home and it's not printing, it's printing blank pages or whatever it may be, you may have a shot at fixing it and saving hundreds of dollars by using this product. Again, link down in the description below. All right, so I'm really excited to get this printer out of the box, get it set up and see what it has to offer. Now, I always appreciate if you watch the entire video, but if you'd like to skip around, there's gonna be chapters down below this video where you can get to different parts of the video seamlessly. All right, so without any further ado, let's get this box opened up. So as we're opening up the box, what you should be receiving in the box is of course the printer. You're gonna receive a user manual, some instructions, a power cable, and of course some HP ink. This is setup ink. I would highly recommend you buy some additional ink on top of this right away. And I'm gonna leave a link for that down in the description below. There's also gonna be a link for this printer. If you'd like to purchase it at any time, there will be a link for you to do that. So we're getting the printer basically ready. There are a lot of things that need to be adjusted. So there is a blue tape and there is cardboard that is blocking this paper tray. We're also gonna to need to remove a placeholder from the print head and you'll see that in just a moment. But you're going to need to make sure that all of these items are removed uh, just so that you make sure that when you're ready to print, you can actually start printing. As you can see here with the print head, before you even install the ink, you would have to remove this placeholder. All right, so we're going to remove the placeholder and we're going to move on with the rest of the setup. I am gonna be showing you how to install ink in this video, but it's gonna be really, really quick. Uh, if you want a more in-depth video, it's gonna be linked down in the description below. So as we proceed with the rest of the setup, this is the initial setup before we power on, is just getting the printer ready to power on. Now we're gonna plug in the printer, we're gonna power it on, and really what's gonna be absolutely necessary for this setup is gonna be the HP Smart app. You're gonna to need to download that, I'll show you here in just a second when I do it, how it looks in the app store. If you're using iPhone, if you're using an Android, it's going to be similar. Upon powering on this printer, you're going to need to answer a few questions, your language, your country. And really at this point, what you're going to want to do is pull out the instruction manual. Now I'm going to do it for you so you can follow along in this video or you can just watch the video. But there is a QR code on there that you will need to scan with your smartphone. Now, if you don't have a smartphone, this setup is going to be pretty difficult. So I would highly recommend that you look into exchanging this printer for a printer that is not going to require you to have to set up through your smartphone. Once you scan that QR code, it's going to take you to a page. It's going to give you additional instruction on what it is you need to do further than what's even in the instruction manual, the physical one that comes with the box. One of the first things we're prompted to do is install plain paper. So we're gonna install the paper and that is going to allow us to have access to the print head, which is where you're gonna install the ink. You're gonna to need to flip this front part down on the printer and lift up the top portion of it. You can then start to prepare your ink cartridges for install. The print head should have come to the center where you can actually install it. It should line up with that color pattern uh, that is on the top. So once you have that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ink uh, like I have it here, and you're gonna install it. And you're gonna make sure that it is facing the right direction. Now, of course, if you want a more in-depth video, 
you're going to have to use the link down in the description below. It's a more in-depth explanatory video if you have not installed HP Ink before. This is a really quick run through and if you've already installed Ink in the past, HP Ink specifically, this is going to be a breeze. So now we're going to move on. Once you've installed the Ink, you're going to need to print out an alignment page. I highly recommend you do this because it's going to just help you have better calibration with the printer. Once you've printed this out, you're going to scan it. When you're scanning, your scan speed is 8 pages per minute with black and 3.5 pages per minute with color. Along with your glass scanner, you also have an automatic document feeder. Unfortunately, with this specific HP model, you're only able to scan one side. Normally, an automatic document feeder can scan two sides. This one, it's just one. Now, you can scan to email, you can scan to USB, and you can scan to your computer. So those are the different options you have when it comes to scanning. So a lot of capability there some restrictions but overall you have a functioning scanning system all right so this is the hp smart app you will want to download when you're setting up and once you have done all of the setup with the ink you're then going to set up with wi-fi wi-fi is going to give you the capability to do wireless printing directly from your devices it could be your smartphone it could be an ipad it could be a laptop that you want to print directly from of course wirelessly so we're going to go through the prompts on this HP Smart app. Whatever it is you want to do, it's pretty self-explanatory once you have the app and once you have everything set up. So once you've gone through all of the prompts and you're done setting up, the HP Smart app is going to bring you to an introductory page for the printer. And you're going to go through some additional prompts, but at this point you've pretty much set up the printer. And you can select your different options if you want to use HP Instant Ink, if you wanted to add additional things to your subscription. And your printer is going to be registered with HP. So you're going to need to create an account at some point. Now this printer will most likely come with a free subscription. It may be two to three months. And then from there you can decide if you want to keep it or not. All right, so you'll decide whether you keep HP Instant Ink or not. Uh, then you're going to print out this final page. And this page, once it's printed out, you are totally set up. You're ready to go. You can start printing documents, photos, whatever it is you want to print with this printer. Now with the HP Smart app, you have a lot of different options. You can copy from there, you can scan from the app, you can print directly from there, and you can really mess around with a lot of the different options that it has. I really find it to be helpful and something that is useful. Now, if you're used to doing everything on your printer, uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve, uh, but you can get used to it fairly quickly as long as you have good user capabilities with your smartphone. Now it could be that when you set everything up, you still need to update the firmware like I did here. I was having some trouble uh, with the some lagging on this printer and I ended up updating the firmware and that totally solved the problem. So moving forward, you have a menu button on the printer and it does have a lot of the usual settings and the usual options that you would have on a printer. So you're not totally limited to the HP Smart App, but you do need it to set up and it's up to you if you end up going that route of using the app primarily or using the printer along with the app. All right, so when we talk about the ink system on this printer, we're using an HP thermal inkjet technology. And your print speed when you're printing with this print head is 20 pages per minute black and 20 pages per minute color. Your first page out when it's black is 15 seconds and when it's color, it's 18 seconds. Your copy speed is 12 pages per minute black and six pages per minute with color. And your max copy resolution is 600 DPI. Going back to the ink system, you have four ink cartridges. You have black, yellow, cyan, and magenta. Again, you'll want to have some additional ink past the setup ink. Setup ink gets used really, really quickly. And unfortunately, sometimes people will just use the setup ink for a long extended period of time and then they have problems printing later on because the print head gets clogged. And that's because that setup ink is just really to be used temporarily. You should be swapping that out fairly quickly. Even if it's showing in your system that it's full, setup ink does not last that long. Here you have a USB insert and you have the back of the printer here as well where you have a few connections. You can connect directly to a computer with the USB. You can connect an ethernet cable. So you have a lot of different options there on the back of the printer. You're not lacking in any of those required inputs when it comes to paper trays your max size is going to be 
8.5 by 14. So you can extend this paper tray all the way to 14 inches. You can print with a variety of different types of media, plain paper, HP photo paper, brochure paper, glossy paper, uh, cardstock. Overall, I think this is a good printer, especially if you're willing to use the HP Smart App to set up and do some other things with Wi-Fi. If that is the case, then this will be a good printer for you. Now it has some of the basic capabilities. If you want more features, you're going to have to get a model that is higher up, like the 9000 models. Those have a lot more features and capabilities. Uh, but if you're just looking for the basics, this is going to be an excellent printer. So again, remember all the product links down in the description below. If this video is helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.